afternoon and welcome to Outdoors with John. Today we're at Wolf Rock, the Wolf Rock Preserve, and we just hiked the Nipmuc Trail from Stores all the way south here, 3.5 miles to Wolf Rock. This is my second video on the Nipmuc Trail. I invite you to check out my February Wolf Rock Preserve video and subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified as I release more videos on this and other trails. Today's plan was to hike about 5.5 miles round trip from Spring Hill to Wolf Rock, all within the town of Mansfield, Connecticut. Along the way, we'll enjoy scenic views of Bicentennial Pond, Schoolhouse Brook, the Old Dam, and Wolf Rock. So after a short uh, third of a mile uh, road walk, we're going to take a left here and looks like we're taking a left on private property, but you can see the blue blazes run right alongside the stone wall here. Please be a gracious guest and hike along the stone wall. And if you see someone outside, say hello and thanks. Fall is a wonderful time to be out here hiking, but you have to keep in mind that the leaves are gonna cover the trail, so you have to keep uh, an eye out for the blazes. The Nipmuc Trail passes through Schoolhouse Brook Preserve, which has eight and a half miles of trails. Just like the name suggests, Bicentennial Pond was created in 1976. The trail we were walking on actually goes around Bicentennial Pond but what we want to do is stay on the Nipmuc Trail here. And there's a sign over here, it's hard to see, it's in the woods. Let's stay with the blue blazes. Well, the acorns are dropping left and right over here. I'm glad I got this hat on because I got hit in the shoulder with one of them and it stung a little bit. We've been following Schoolhouse Brook through a little cascade area. It looks like we've come to an old mill site. There's a, a little bit of an excavation here and uh, somewhat of a dam remains on both sides of the, of the river here. The remnants of the stone walls on either side of this ledge are the remains of a dam that was constructed for the purpose of powering a sawmill. I really have to admit that that was a lot of fun. Uh, fortunately for me, I didn't slip and fall and get wet. But what a beautiful spot. Well, we come to a trail junction here on our left is the Juniper Trail. On our right, the Nipmunk continues and crosses the Schoolhouse Brook on this bridge. Pretty much walked across that road and we we're walking through the back of somebody's yard. Um, that's where the trail goes. So thanks again, folks, for making your yard accessible. So having just crossed Crane Hill Road, we're in Joshua Trust Land Preserve. Um, there's some on-street parking here. Um, and it's a short distance now up to Wolf Rock. Hey, Seth. Did you lose your sunglasses? 
All kidding aside, I highly recommend you check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Wolfrock is a six foot round Nice and Quartz Glacier erratic perched atop a 40 foot cliff. It was named for wolves that once lived here. Well, it's pretty hard to get a good photo of the cliff face here. It's definitely worth coming down and take a look at it because it is a pretty steep, pretty sheer drop off. On my next Nipmunk Trail video, we'll head north from Spring Hill to Fenton River Valley and enjoy views from the 50 foot cliff, explore the Chaffee Silk Mill ruins, and hike along the beautiful Fenton River. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. As always, thanks for watching.